Hi, Pete from GH Music. Um, I'm now going to have a chat with Simon about V-Drums kits and recording. I want to make a kind of candid remark about Roland products. To basically say that they're not selfish devices. Um, so I'm going to get um, Simon to talk about um, how you can connect V-Drums kits to um, different music software programs. Simon, yes. can um, V-Drums kits be hooked up to other music programs? Absolutely. There's uh, several different ways you can do it. So we have conventional MIDI interface, which Roland actually helped design back sort of 30 years ago, which is on the back of our kit, MIDI in and out, which sends the notes that I play. But we also now have USB. So we have USB for storage. There's two USB ports, one for saving all of your settings and one that connects to a computer. So when I connect this to a computer via USB, it transmits audio and MIDI in a digital stream to the computer, Mac or PC, any software you're running. So Logic, Cubase, Pro Tools, you know, Sonar, Ableton Live, Native Instruments, all of that sort of stuff will work with our kits, no problem. It's just sending MIDI information to the computer. You can record the audio as well, so you can make two new tracks in your software, one that's an audio track, one that's a MIDI track, record both at the same time, output them back to the kit, listen to them, play along, use Superior Drummer for some sounds, use some sounds from the module. Can I anyway. interject there? You just said about Superior Drummer. So can I use my V-Drums kits with all the, the different drum software that's out now? What, what are the benefits to that? What are... How, how can that be done? Absolutely. You can use it with um, any of the drum replacement software. So there are a lot of programs that allow you to use the kit as a controller and just use the notes from the kit to trigger sounds in your software. Yep. So it's like, it's like a sampler inside your software. So yes, it works perfectly with that. The hi-hat control on the, you know, t on the TD30 and all the V-Drums kits is the best on the market. So they're actually designed their software to make sure they work well with our kits because oh, wow. V-Drums are the Rolls-Royce of kits. So sure. It works beautifully. So when you close the hi-hat, you get a closed sound, you get open, it's all the variation in between. It works the best with the V-Drums kit because they designed it to work like that. So yes, it's very simple. Just connect it, off you go, select it inside your software and it comes up as a TD30, comes up as an option in yep. your interfaces. Yep. And any music that plays back from your computer, like from iTunes, also runs through the kit so you can listen to it, practice with your headphones on so that nobody else in the house has to hear it. So it's a great tool for learning and practicing. Sure. Yeah. Um, and is there any um, dedicated programs that um, Roland have done for... Yes, we have one called Drum Tutor, DT1, which helps you learn how to play the drums. And we have one that's more advanced called Friends Jam, which I actually sure. have on my computer here uh, next to me. So why don't you jump on and have a play? I'll show you how it works. So I'm sitting at the kit now. Uh, I've got my friend Simon beside me and we've got Friends Jam up yep. on the screen. Yep. Um, so this is, it, this is a Roland program that you can get for free? Yeah, I just believe. download it from our website. Um, this can be used to play along to tracks? Works with all of the kits, so you just hook it up via MIDI or via USB if your kit's got a USB port. Yeah. Um, and to um, get the drum kit to talk to the program rather than using my finger to use the mouse thing, I basically hit one of the drums three times. Now you're connected. Um, so now I think we're going to choose a song to play along to. So I'm going to go down to Remembering Jimmy and off we go. So you hit the snare to start playing. Here we go. Excellent. Cool. There you go. 493. 493. So there are all the people playing all over the world, and it shows you the world chart. So you can see now you've got 320, position 320, sure. and you score 493. And you can go and look at the chart and see people there from, you can see Great Britain and the Netherlands, Chile, and you can use the symbols to go up and down in the charts. And you can, you can yeah. actually see other people playing their tracks, can't you? 
At the moment, you can just see the score that they've got, um, right. but for a lot of the tracks, you could actually see video ideas of how you could play the track. So when you're going back in that page before and you're selecting a track, you can actually look at previews of how ideas on how you can actually play the, the tracks if you're not sure about what to do on the piece of music. So Sure. It's good fun. Um, so I think this is something that we will have at uh, GH Music soon. Um, so please come in, check it out, um, try and kick your friends' asses. Thanks.